Well, one of the things, one of the phenomena that sometimes occurs, uh, and, and, it does, and it's not even rare, is somebody with mental illness comes and presents himself or herself for exorcism. And of course, you know, we don't know. Uh, we, we don't know what, the, what, when somebody walks in the room, we, we don't have a magic eye that alerts us, hey, this person has mental illness or this person has a demon or both for that matter. So uh, we perform diagnostic testing. And one of the diagnostics that I will use is, is I will tell the individual, you know what, just sit back and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to read a prayer over you. And in, rather than reading the prayer, what I'm doing is I'm reading uh, a Betty Crocker recipe for cupcakes that I got from the Betty Crocker website, bettycrocker.com. And what I did is I rendered the instructions, the recipe into Latin. And so I'm reading that. If there is a reaction to that prayer, which I might intersperse with a genuine prayer, but If there is, during the genuine prayer, a reaction, and that reaction maintains through the recipe, then what we have here is something that has its root cause in mental illness. There is no way that the person ought to react at the recipe for cupcakes. Uh, If they do, then there's an issue. But if there's a subsiding during that, during that part of the prayer, uh, during, during the recipe part, I should say, and it picks up again once the prayer begins. Now we have something that gives us, that, that is a sign that there's a demon present. And so that forms the basis for further and more scrutinous testing. 